hi everyone in this video i'm going to explain about one interview question the question is without using sequence generator or store procedure how can we maintain the surrogate keys in the target table so that's the interview question so uh, i'm not supposed to use the sequence generator as well as store procedure to generate the sequential number that's nothing but a surrogate key so how can we achieve this so let's take an example I'm taking the EMP table as the source and EMP SQQ as the target. So already I just uh, no, given the name of the mapping. Let's bring the source and target into the workspace. This is the what. And before doing, as usual, I will say that before you know, coding the mapping, just have a, you know, just do that type of work. So how to achieve this? Two steps I will, uh, uh, no, two steps we need to achieve this. First step is, first, what is the maximum serial number is there in the target table we need to find it out and the second one is you need to generate the sequence uh, sequence number for that particular load so once you get the particular uh, no, sequence number for the particular load then you can add it to the maximum number for example in this load 14 records are present or else 10 records only present so generate the sequence number 1 to 10 and you found already 10 records are present in the target so now 1 to 10 you given the name and 10 you got the maximum so 10 plus 1 11 10 plus 2 12 so like that you can do that so first task is generate the sequential number okay so how to achieve this two ways again by using the row number in the source call for override you can do that or by using the expression you can achieve this so i will choose expression let me choose the expression and bring all the columns double click generate the serial number so how to generate the serial number by using the variable so this is an integer integer only integer and plus one i can say that and again this one output of count and this is also integer so that then only this variable value will be carried out and assign the variable over here now you got that you generated the sequential number and what i will do is along with that i will you know define one join key okay one dummy column okay this is i will say that integer this is just an output port and i will give you the one so why i am giving you will came to know within few minutes so now the first task is generating the sequential number is completed now find it out what is the maximum uh, serial number is present in the target. So how to do that? By using the lookup, by using the sequence emp underscore seq. Okay. So I just done it, but I don't need all these columns. Okay. So before doing that, just pass this column to here. Why I'm passing? You can you will you know? Let me tell you. So now remove all additional columns. And the department number what i will do i will say key okay and this is an integer and this is also i will uh, no, say the integer because uh, the uh, sequential number whatever we are generating we are using as an integer right so now this key i'm going to define as okay in the properties okay i just declared one more column key and serial number so now by with using the SQL override in the lookup, what I'm going to do is select maximum of serial number as serial number comma one as key. Okay, from EMP underscore SQ. This is the table we are using it. EMP underscore SQ. Okay, and then done. That's it, right? And then apply. Yes, you need to give, give the condition, joining condition. So now join the key and this one. So key you define here one and the here also one. So one one if you join it, the serial number maximum serial number will you know you will get it. So capture that information in the expression as simple as that. So just to differentiate, okay, you can say that no serial number. Okay, no need to different no give the other name. Let it be serial number only, and bring all the columns into the expression. So now 
you got this maximum serial number and you got the sequential number also so you need to join these two but one more thing keep in mind as a starting now is there any data into the emp underscore acq no right so what is the maximum serial number you will get it that will become a null so calculating null uh you know calculation participating in the uh, participating null value into the calculations what is the result you will get obviously null only you will get it so you need to write a condition if that the maximum serial number is a null then only this count only passed out if no else okay you can add serial number maximum uh, maximum serial number plus this one that's the uh, uh, condition you need to specify so i will say maximum serial number or else uh, yeah let it be maximum serial number and this is an integer and this is an output output port give the condition what is the condition you need to specify iif if which column this is the column is null so how to specify that here is the function in the all functions okay if you are familiar what is the syntax is null directly you can type it up if you don't know search it out over here and then serial number so if this is the null then whatever the port is there that count port where is the ports here it is get the one okay same thing or else if this is not the null then you can add serial number plus count so now you got it right validate expression pass successfully save okay so connect appropriate columns because don't connect this to the target okay you have to connect the down maximum column this is a serial number and this is the one you need to connect to the target that's it save it is it valid yes it's valid now let's go ahead and create the workflow for this surrogate key maintenance done double click over the source and target connections this is scott and this is info so now is there any constraint over there defined here i won't think so none of the constraints so you can use bulk option there is no problem so let it be bulk and always insert so i don't want to update it so that's it apply and one more thing don't forget what type of it is is a target so you can specify over here or in the properties also you can specify the connections so let's specify over here itself what is a target oracle underscore info that is a target we are using correct empac2 now save it done exclude the workflow success succeeded 15 records are rated 15 records are loaded go back and see refresh the data see 1 to 15 records are there so 15 completely you got it next time if you run it so uh, which uh, no which number it should start 16 let's see whether it will start the 16 or again from 1 onwards it will load it so again successful succeeded let's refresh the data now into the target see 16 onwards 17 18 19 20 till the last you get it so this is how you can maintain the surrogate keys in the target by using expression and the lookup so without using source uh, you know, sequence generator and store procedure so thanks for watching this video and let me know if you have any questions and have a great day then bye bye see you in the next video